Hi, I'm the boys from Grimsby, on the east coast of Lincolnshire. The video we're bringing you is on the magnificent subject of eye sign. Through the video, we'll show you valuations, we'll see top breeders, top racing pigeons, and I'm visiting three lofts, some of the best fancies in this area. We hope you'll enjoy it. All you need for basic eye sign study is good eyesight yourself and one of these times 10 or times 15 jewelers eyeglass. Right, to start you off, we're going to show you the five circles, the eye compromise 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, shown in basic, easy to understand detail. Right, this is my eye sign evaluation chart, showing you five circles. Circle 1, the pupil. This is a central piece, the black and the optic lens. It must be perfectly round. Any distortion, as such, the pigeon is worthless, of no use. It must neither be too large nor too small. That, in comparison with the eye, it's the size of the eye, is about how you want it. The next one, the yellow circle, is circle two. We're only using this colour just to show off on the video. They do come in a multitude of colours. Always be wide, broad and strong. This is your number two, your colour circle. The next one, circle number three or your circle of adaption. If you'll notice within this, this is where we read the eye sign. These lines, they're your breeding lines. The smoky dust is the composition, all makes up to a top of the tree breeding pigeon. To show you the definition, this is what you need for breeding. That is a top racing eye without the definition. Circle number four. This is the iris. The piece we have highlighted here, you'll see it's slightly darker. They're what I call the mountain ranges. It's definition. Again, this denotes breeding or racing capability, depending on how mountainous, how jagged, and how deep in colour. This, what you're seeing at the moment, with the ultimate in breeding eyes. You've got the mountain ranges, you've got the breeding lines within your third circle. You couldn't fault an eye of this calibre. Go one step further to the yellow tinge around the outside, the perimeter. You know what I call the outer circle. On a good pigeon, this must come in. On a very good pigeon, coming from circle two, it will come right through the eye champion status. Right, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to show you half a dozen pigeons of my own, top breeders, top racers in their own right. We'll look at the eyes, I'll go through, explain in full detail, and judge them for yourself. The first one is a pigeon we call Firecracker. Now this old cock is 11 years of age now. For actual breeding, he tipples winners out. Year in, year out, he's bred pigeons up to combine winning level. The eye sign is basically full old gold. Very little iris there at all. I've never seen such a full eye, and I doubt I ever will again. Look at beep into the pigeon's eye. The inner rings, the breeding rings on the number three circle, are unbelievable. This is what makes the pigeon the breeder that he is. Along with the full gold, you couldn't wish for a better breeder. Although as already spoken, or stated rather, he's proved beyond reasonable doubt. He's the ultimate in breeding machines. The Irish is weakening off a bit as you'll see, but that's due to his age. After they get to about seven years, their eyes start weakening. Much no detriment to the pigeon. The next pigeon I'm going to show you is a blue bush artin. 
had five races, won five. The only reason we retired it was for moving house. The ice iron itself is a full metallic old gold, mountain ranged iris. The composition in this eye, you will see, is not for breeding. The breeding lines are lacking. But racer, five out of five, can't be bad. This next pigeon, it's another top of the tree. Racing eye, it's a full blue violet. This one's won umpteen times for us. It won the uh, Sad Skelton Federation trophy. This one did, as a young bird. You'll appreciate from this, it's a massive violet, well serrated. The difference between this and the last one, you've got the breeding inner rings as well in this eye. Hell of a fifth circle coming in. Composite fifth, same as your third circle. Denoting again, top breeding, top racing. At present, she hasn't proved herself in the stock loft because she's the first year we've bred from her. Now I want to see a couple of breeding eyes. These are the freight remain pigeons. This old boy, he's bred winners up to combine level. As you'll see from the eye, very wide, well serrated, composite circle. The inner rings and breeding lines are their masses. The other striking point about this eye is the iris. It's the pillar box red, which denotes again dual purpose pigeon, although this one's never been raced. He's bred winners galore. Absolute top of the tree eye. Next one's another freight remain cock. He's a grandson of Vosti Biter. He carries a very similar eye to the eye of Vosti Biter. It's an absolute gem. I talk about the mauve patches in the breeders. This one carries it around the entirety of the composite circle. It's there in abundance. This is another one. Bred pigeons up to combine winning level. You struggle to get a better stock bird. This is the last that I'm showing you from my loft. It's another freight remain. This time hen bird. On one occasion she bred two combine winners in one nest. Cracking pigeon with a cracking eye, composite old gold, again full of breeding rings. The iris itself well mountain ranged of the pillar box red, again denoting racing, but this one top of the tree stock end. She bred winners galore. If we can see close enough, look deep into the pupil, you see little pits that denotes fitness. At this present time, she's fit as a fiddle.
Oh, my God. 